This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision and technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. This week on How to Drink, we're making a drink called Moloko Plus. Uh, this is a cocktail invented by Morgan Schick at Trick Dog. Now, what is this drink? Well, I'm gonna explain. When I'm doing research for the show, I look for movies with drinks in them. I remember my favorite movies. I look for reasons to make a movie from a drink. Clockwork Orange, of course, a very famous film. Alex and his droogs uh, sip the Maloko Plus, uh, laced with adrenochrome and whatever else is in there, which is always good for a bit of the, to video a bit of the good old ultraviolence. I wanted to make a cocktail, a real life cocktail of Maloko Plus. Well, it turns out that Morgan Schick, a uh, bartender at Trick Dog, published a recipe that I can't possibly beat. I, I'm not gonna come up with anything better than this, so we're just gonna make his recipe. You're going to need to make cardamom-infused milk, which I've already made here, and I'm going to include the recipe uh, both on screen and in the show notes. Uh, but it's basically milk that you simmer with cardamom for about uh, 30 minutes and, uh, and strain. Um, and it imparts, um, well, it imparts the flavor of cardamom into milk. Is it laced with adrenochrome? Is it laced with uh, varicoset? All the other fictional drugs that get mentioned in that scene, I forget. No, of course not. Is it good for a bit of the old ultraviolence? Hey, hey? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, and, and I do not, I abhor violence. And I do not endorse any form of violence, ultra or not ultra. Try the wine. I love this movie. I loved it even more as a young goth man from New Jersey. A young gothman from New Jersey. A Stanley Kubrick film, very, very, very um, controversial. People were really put off by it. it. It depicts a raw future in which society is just in decline, um, kind of across the board. There are roving gangs of costumed young people uh, just out on the street uh, committing acts of ultraviolence to keep themselves entertained. And uh, uh, I think probably Anthony Burgess failed to anticipate the rise of the internet, which of course prevents children from ever leaving their homes. You know who didn't like that very much? Gene Kelly didn't like that. He was very upset. So Stanley Kubrick and Malcolm McDowell and the rest of the cast are working on that scene for like weeks when to try and make it more interesting to Kubrick, he suggests, do you know any songs? And at the time, the only song that Malcolm McDowell could remember the words to were Singing in the Rain. They performed the scene to Singing in the Rain. Kubrick immediately leaves set and buys the rights to the song for $10,000 without telling anybody what he's buying the rights for. Probably would have uh, been more expensive if he had. And of course, cinema history is made. Let's just make this damn drink, okay? I'm gonna start with a half an ounce pour of mezcal. And a half an ounce pour of Benedictine. Half an ounce of Benedictine. Benedictine in my tin. Benedictine in my tin. Need a bar spoon of simple syrup. Uh, two dashes of orange bitters. And two ounces of rum. We're gonna use El Dorado 12 year. This is a cardamom infused uh, milk. I want three ounces. And there's two. And there's three ounces of milk. Cardamom milk. Special milk, special. It's very special, this milk. Okay, we're ready to shake this drink. Serve this drink in a Collins glass. Collins glass or a highball would be fine here. And we top this with a little bit of sparkling wine or champagne or Prosecco. Let's just top it up.
Let's give this Miloco Plus a try. That is wild. That is wild. I like drinks that evolve. That drink evolves. That is one of the most complicated. It is still evolving. It is still evolving. That's the mezcal. That is one of the most unusual cocktails I've ever had. Um, it needs pretty regular mixing because it's trying to thicken. Ooh, wow. Okay, so it's a creamy drink. It's very much like a milkshake. It, it is an alcoholic milkshake. And it has a very unusual um, herbaceousness. The cardamom is very, very present. And the cardamom and the mezcal really work together to create a, a unique flavor. I do not have the words for this flavor. It doesn't taste quite like anything I've ever had. It's in the family of like a cinnamon and an allspice kind of thing with smoke from the mezcal, but it isn't quite that either. Um, wow, I've just never had anything quite like that. That is really unique. Um, it's heavy because of the, the milk and the half and half and the cream and stuff that are in there. So I don't know that I could drink it every day or that I could drink it fast. I think it might be a dessert drink. It might be a dessert drink. I mean, it's not a drink that I immediately like want to fall into that I could live with that makes me think of going on like better times and vacation it's not doesn't have that effect on me but as a as a cocktail that is a unique drink i've never had anything like that so high praise for morgan schick from trick dog that's how to drink thank you so much for watching if you like the show i hope you'll check out my instagram at how to drink and my twitter at how to drink i do have a patreon that you could check out up there um, and I will see you guys next week with another drink right here. Same bat time, same bat channel. That's a Batman reference. And not even like good Batman, but like Adam West Batman. Has nothing to do with, um, uh, well, no, no, a lot of people don't know this. But several episodes of Batman were directed by uh, Stanley Kubrick. Um, I'm making that up, but it's true. That's how to drink the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. Uh, I made a Maloco Plus in honor of a favorite film of mine, Clockwork Orange. Uh, inspiration for the Rob Zombie song, Durango 95. Uh, point of fact, used to be a huge white zombie fan uh, all throughout the 90s. Um, Astro Creep 2000 really spoke to me as a young man. Uh, anyway, that's the show. I will see you next week with another drink. I, uh, I hope you are having a great one. Cheers. Bye. Why are we still rolling? <laughs> you want me to cut for real?